So here we are in Scotland Street. This is the room all the paintings were laid out in. Again? This is done by the first and second year school children. God's help and God's hand in everything. That's done by a pair of school. Yeah, of course, that's my first one. So, my children go to that school, the north end of South Oh, right, yeah. And that's from a gay boy of the Holy Spirit. Mm hmm. Very good, and then we come to this. What's this and called? This is start again. This is taken from a Gaelic poem called Homo Gui, and it's about the, the, the sadness and the tragedy of emigration to Canada, forced emigration, and it tells in Gaelic and English of the sorrow of going to a strange land. And again, who was this and made by? This was, I was part of a demonstration piece by the art teacher and myself and the help of the children in Dalaga School. Who's the art teacher there? Uh, Mr. Michael Goldfeder. Oh, right, just that. And it shows you the different aspects of the islands today. The Our Lady of the Isles, done by the famous Hugh Lorimer, that sculpture. And okay. This is using, again, the whole thing is Celtic spirituality, God and everything, and bringing it up to date was showing outer space travel. The Earth seen from outer space, two spacemen and the two guardian angels. Good. That's a lot to see there. This idea of come the Paradise Garden comes from C.S. Lewis, his book was Chronicles of Narnia. Right. Again, who worked in this one? A uh, second year girls in Balabar School. And who worked in the that Stanley was one? A, a boy from, um, hold on, not just well, That was a second year boy in Eriski, Norman McInnes. Very good, Norman. Right, what about these to see, Michael? Uh, that's, these were done, this one was done for the year of St. Columba, Carl McKee year, and um, it's uh, a legend of St. Columba and the Loch Ness Monster. Again, who did this one? Uh, that was the Colonel in Eriski, Rona. Very good, Rona. This is a second year, a course I do with first and second year boys and girls about, the, the, we, we study the human body from adult adults and the child in the womb mm -hmm. and it shows the tiniest form and in relationship to the hand to show the size of it and we use St. Therese of Lisieux's story about the little flower how the smallest is just as important as the biggest mm. this, one, Michael. this is again inspired by St. By St. Therese of Lisieux the little flower about and you see all the flowers around the child the child is a little flower and it's just as important as as anything large and more spectacular. Who did this one? Uh, this is a girl in Gallagher School. This is Katie McCormick in Gallagher School. Very good. The next one, here, this is uh, again it's to do with the year of St. Columbus, done by a boy in, in, um, in um, Ian Rusk in the uh, Eriska School, second year boy. And it shows you the the St. Columba and his three of his monks and it's like a window you can see inside and you mm -hmm. see the flame of the Holy Spirit. That's a nice one isn't it? Can I like that? Who did That's that? A, that was Ian Rusk, a second year boy. Mm, excellent. Okay. Right, okay. Well, this, this, is, this is from a famous gallant poem called The Soul Shrine and it's about the, body, the human body as, as, as a shrine which enshrines the, the soul. So it's like a window looking through the body into the soul, which mm -hmm. comes from eternity, from God. Is this a poem about it? And a poem underneath. Mm -hmm. of it. Again, who worked in this one? Yeah, that's a girl in Dalaga School. And the one to the right here, that's a boy mm -hmm. in Dalaga in Eriski School. Do you know the names? Yes, the, the one to the left is uh, uh, Soul Shrine. That's Michelina Mattel. And this one mm -hmm. is. Uh, Angus McAllister. Very good, Michael. Eriska School. Very good, Angus. It's a nice one. This idea of the mm -hmm. window you'll see later on mm -hmm. Saint, uh, in relation to St. Columba. The poem, The Two Houses, done by two girls in Eriska School, is the, uh, the, 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 the angels and saints protecting the house. So the Gaelic poems were people had these poems uh, which they said of the day that blessing the house. And this mm -hmm. is a social 
family in the house and the, the angels round about. Who were the girls that did this? The girls and these were in. <coughs> a monk, and uh, they barely hurt Very from good. the south east. How about these two men? These two are portraits. This is a uh, this is a follow-up from the child in the womb, where we go into a later stage of teenage girls mm -hmm. and boys, and do we do they do self-portraits? But the poet is from a very beautiful poem, and I'll just quote a bit of the poem. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they paint each other's portraits, but they get the poem with it. The beauty of God is in my face. The Son of God is protecting me. Says, Since it is Mary and Jesus, her son, who set this pleasantness in my face. So it's the idea of the, Very good. the face reflecting the beauty of God. The beauty of God is in my face. So, who was it, Michael? A, a Donald McDonald, a boy in second year and a girl in second year. Donald McDonald and Sarah Scott. Very good. Okay, that's you have St. Columba or Callum Kilia or Colin Kilia. And it's from one of his uh, accounts of one of his um, spiritual gifts, which was to have inner visions. And in this vision, he saw the whole world in, in, as a, like a teardrop. He saw every aspect of the world. So as you look through the window of his, of his soul, you see the world almost as if it's... No, uh, right. it's, it's, if you see Africa there, mm -hmm. it's the world seen from outer space, which is to... And it says the Lord, it's the Lord's man, by divine grace, observed the whole world gathered within a single ray of the sun. His mind miraculously widened, so his, his spiritual widened, so mm -hmm. he could see all the whole aspect of God's creation. And his son. Mm -hmm. Oh, this again is the year of St. Columba. Mm -hmm. so these were done by two boys in Dalaba School. Names again. This is done by Rudy Mackay and Doc Agostolia. In mm -hmm. Dalaba School, uh, it's using symbols. In each picture to the right, we have Colin Kilia with the symbol of the Holy Spirit on his front. To the left, we have symbols of paganism, which people use today in the, in the stars, the goat and the scales, which are used in the star game, you know, star signs. To do, that represents the pagan, the pagans, and Columba, Saint Columba, overcoming the Druids. Okay. Uh, these are done in, uh, this one is in from year girls seven, primary seven girls year to school again the showing creation is a reflection of God's God's beauty of creation and to the right we have a whale, a whale which is uh, again a, a girl from a girl from Eriske and um, the creation scene not as something just natural but something created by God great in the use of them, um, done by a boy in Eriski. There's nothing uh, about the, again, the beauty of God's creation. Gorgeous. That's why, Great colour. And rather than do it in completely naturalistic, you do it in a more colourful mm -hmm. and imaginative form, and that, and that is, that's to show that this is a painting made for God's creation, and not a naturalistic picture. Mm -hmm. Can I? This is St. Michael, oh, mm -hmm. St. Michael the Archangel is the patron saint of the Western Isles, and many of the churches are named after him. There are beautiful Gallic poems about St. Michael, and here we have a, a boy, Canon Collier, from Dalarna School, and it's St. Michael attacking the seven-headed dragon, the red dragon, the symbol of the devil. Right. God's creation done imaginatively and with colours to show that it's, it's symbolising the, the, the eagle, the swan, the raven, etc. It's from a Gallic poem about the beauty of God's creation. Okay, we have a picture from a Jessica McKenna's Stonybridge School, done from a Gallic poem about the Holy Spirit, and the dove is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Here again, we're using nature and everyday life, but done in an imaginative and colourful way, so that when that, which will be a symbol of God's creation. The Gallic spirituality idea of everyday work is transformed through prayer. Well, who That's going ones? to bless the fishing. And this Excellent. is done by, it's a lovely painting done Gorgeous, by, um, this is done by Caroline McClellan from Dalaba School, and below it is the poem, Asking God's 
blessing, so I'm efficient. Absolutely superb stuff. Team of a JCB, again, everyday work transformed through prayer, through a Gaelic or English prayer, about the beauty of God's creation and asking God's help and blessing in everything we do. This is done by Michael Raphael, Go Freda. Yeah, year for school, primary seven. Oh, wonderful boy. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, again, using imaginative colours and shapes to show that this God's involved in this. And That's an excellent yeah. painting. Yeah. Oh. And this is, this is the artist's son? Yes, this is the artist's son, Michael. My Martin. nephew? Yes. What yeah. a man. <laughs> well, this picture is very popular among the children of all ages, starting primary four, five. And nearly all the houses in South Houston and Eriski, if when you go into them in their kitchens or whatever, mm -hmm. this the children have got these up and the parents have put them up. And quite a lot of parents have actually framed them as well. What's that? Frame the picture? Yes, it's a house blessing and I get oh, all right. the children mm -hmm. to do it and it's and it's the father blessing the house and it goes, Bless to me, O oh God, my wife and my children, my tender children and their beloved mother at their head, and bless to me, O oh God, myself who has the care of them. It's a very beautiful Gallic poem. And the the that they all do thatched cottages, because not that they all live in them, but this thatched cottage is a symbol mm -hmm. with the door open of warmth and family love. Great. Well, when I first went up to see you, Michael, myself and Juan Antonio, you were living in a house like that. That's right. An yeah. absolute pigsty. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to all the youngsters up in the islands. I've certainly enjoyed having a look at all these paintings today. This is the artist Michael, my brother. Congratulations, Michael. But take our congratulations to all the youngsters in South Houston and the islands. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful.